All right, so we are going to make, we're going to go ahead and edit our portraits from our DIY backdrop. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, so we're going to go to Snapseed, open up, and we're going to start with our photo. So here's our original photo, and you can see like it has kind of like a weird color to it. Um, it's a little low contrast. The white actually looks like a little gray. Um, and the skin's kind of like yellowy looking. So we're going to go ahead and um, fix that. So what we're going to do is start with tools. And the first step I'm actually going to do is white balance. Um, so if you, are, if you have black, white, or gray in your picture, you can use white balance to balance the color of your picture. Um, so I'm going to tap on the bottom menu, which is an eyedropper. And then I'm gonna drag it over to a neutral color. So um, it looks like my black hoodie actually has some color cast to it, but the white sheet looks pretty neutral. So I can drag it around until I get what looks like a neutral color palette. And I'm looking at my skin to make sure that looks pretty good, like color wise. So, and I'm gonna hit the check mark. And then if I do a before and after, so I'm just holding down, you can see the yellow and then the after, it looks more neutral. Next, we're gonna go to tune image. So this one, you can see by the histogram, there's a gap between that spike and the far end of the white. So I'm gonna try to just brighten it and bring that over. And then I might actually go to highlights as well and bring that over. There we go. And now we're going to see that the dark areas are a little too bright. So I'm going to then bring down my shadow so that black reads more black. And I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to hit the check mark. And then I'm going to do before and after. So it's already looking much better. And then the next thing I'm going to do is tools. And then I'm going to go into um, brush. And with a brush, it's called dodge and burn, or you could do exposure. So dodging is making an area lighter. So I just hit down so it's only 5%. And then I'm going to hit this little eyeball and turn it blue so I can see where I'm painting. And I can actually lighten these areas. So it's not going to be red. This is just showing me the area I'm lightening because I want the white to be a little bit whiter. There we go, so I'm just gonna keep layering. And now, if I hit the eyeball, what I'm gonna see is that it's brighter. So I'm gonna hit the check mark. So now I have before, after, before, after. Um, you can also go in with the healing brush, so healing it looks like the little band-aids i can zoom in and i can go in and clean up like any little blemishes um, i can use the little navigator on the bottom get these little flyaways any marks on my face let's see just go in there hit the check mark when you're done i, can, I could probably even keep going but um, you could also get rid of some of those wrinkles. So let's see, healing. And I can just go in there. Whoops, that's real big. <laughs> let's zoom in a little. And then we could just paint over those wrinkles if you want less of that. If some are distracting, I'm just painting over it. You're just making sure you're not getting weird patterns showing up. So you want it to look natural. Oops, I think I did something weird. Weird thing with the hair here. There we go. Hit the check mark before, after, before, after. And the last thing I wanna do is just do a simple crop. So I'm gonna hit crop. And I wanna make sure that I'm on the original so I don't do anything weird. And I want my eyes on the rule of thirds. I wanna be a little bit off center, honestly. So I'm gonna do my middle eye sort of in the center, hit the check mark. So now I got before and after. Now I'm gonna just go ahead and hit export save a copy, and I'm good. So I got my first edit. 